Good morning, everyone. Uh, today I'm here with a tropical update, short tropical update. We're not like looking at models. We're going to be looking at a, we're going to be doing a U.S. weather forecast. Um, but yeah, so right now, if you if you want to check out yesterday's uh, video, I talked. There was a system behind these two that I, I looked at a GFS model, and so that's what that is. It's already an invest. Uh, but let's check that out first. Actually, you see this invest is a twenty percent chance in the next five days of forming as it moves out further to the west in the Pacific Ocean. All these storms are moving to the west, which is uh, so it's just one after another. You got a hurricane, a tropical storm, and another tropical wave. Uh, now, Flossie, I think it's how you say it, is at 65 miles per hour, down to 1,001 millibars, and it's moving west at 16, mi or 16 miles per hour. Uh, Eric is moving a little bit faster. It's now, it has 80 mile per hour winds as advisory 12, and then it has nine, it's down to 988 millibars, and it's moving west at 17. So out here, it's just one storm after another, all moving the same way. Mm, they'll eventually affect Hawaii, but we can't see Hawaii in this graph. Let's check out Eric real quick. The comb. See, we're gonna have to see what we're gonna have to to uh, see what what this is going to do because the impacts likely to be felt on Thursday, Friday, maybe even Saturday. But if it takes a northerly track for the cone, it's gonna really affect the Big Island. If it, but if it takes a southerly track, it won't really affect it. It'll affect it still possibly, but it it won't uh, affect it like with winds likely. We can see right there. Uh, here's a little red dot, and that's where the hurricane force wind swath is. Um, Yes, so let's get this out of here. Uh, now we're going to go to the U.S. weather forecast. So uh, right now, this is Tuesday morning, which is what it is. Now the uh, now the West Coast is still above average, other than coastal California, coastal Oregon, and coastal Washington mostly. So this is all above average. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to name out every little mountain yet because there's mountains over here. So that's why you see these like little blue dots. These are they're cooler sometimes. And then uh, southern Texas is a little bit, and so is southern, southern, southern Florida. And also, we, the northeast is much above average, and so is Quebec, Canada, and over there. But uh, especially Maine, and Vermont, and New Hampshire, they are, those two states, or those three states are much above average right now. And so is, uh, oh, you see like the four corners over here, that region over through Nevada. Um, and that is... Um, above average, but much above average too. Uh, but we were, we're looking at the interesting fall, or not interesting, but we're looking at a fall like uh, weather pattern right now. I mean, not really fall like, but uh, we can see we have some below average conditions going down through Minnesota into North Dakota, South Dakota, Iowa, and Illinois and Wisconsin, even in the portions of Michigan. Uh, and especially the upper portion, but uh, and then this goes over through North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Panhandles, down through the Texas Panhandle, and northern Texas, and then most of Louisiana has a is slightly above or slightly below average, slightly below average for Mississippi. Also, that like for example, let me show it, like you see this uh, red dot there. That's called the Urban Heat Island because I like a. Like, like the steel and everything that makes up a city it absorbs heat, so it keeps it warmer overnight. And we're like, it's overnight right now. This is at about the 8 a.m., so that's going to remain, still remain warmer, but um, warmer than average. Uh, yes, I would say that. But the states that are going to really be getting hit by the below average temperatures are Wisconsin, Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Iowa. You can see much below average right there, and even into Ontario. And Manitoba. That is Manitoba. I, I have I have corrected myself. That is not. That's Alberta. Uh, and I know that's Saskatchewan, but uh, so yes, but uh, yes, we can see that is the area right there under below average temperatures are likely. But let's take a look at contours now. Or not? No, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Dang it! And now it's wanting me to request this sound. All right, so let's skip ahead to this afternoon. So we're going to skip ahead. Uh, so this afternoon, we can see this below these below average temperatures are really getting down into uh, even Iowa now, into Illinois and Missouri uh, behind this cold front because there's a cold front swinging across the USA right now. It's just I'll just, I'll just make that black line. But also, you see like these little purple dots. Those are from the monsoon. So, but let's just say most of the West is. Having above average temperatures today uh, at one point, and then the monsoons happen and it goes below average. But you can see, like with the exception of the mountains in coastal California, and even into some of the below average temperatures are making their way by 
7 p.m. across the central USA. Uh, Kansas, the panhandles are above average again, but starting to make its way down through Georgia and even the coastal regions of uh, Georgia and Florida are now slightly above average this afternoon. But you can see, still see these three states right here are still uh, much above average. Uh, let's go ahead a few more hours. We're going to go until uh, tomorrow morning at 12 again, 12 Z again. But uh, so tomorrow morning, this is, this is in 24 hours. We can see uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, uh, central and west eastern Kansas and central and eastern Oklahoma. You have slightly below, but at below average. But you can see these uh, this cold air is making its way in Michigan now. You can see some much as much below average. The cold air is making its way even in the Kentucky and Tennessee now. Really behind this cold front right here, um, the fall like weather pattern. But uh, and we can see we have the urban heat island effect, uh, and we can see pretty uh, below average temperatures right there. Now let's take a look at the, uh, or no, we're going to go ahead a few more hours. Let's go to Wednesday afternoon. You can see, look at this. Utah is going to be much below average because of the monsoon rains. Let's look at all that uh, purple on the map right there. But out here in South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Michigan, Illinois, or not Michigan, uh, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, into Michigan, uh, even in Kentucky and Tennessee now, we're going to be seeing um, below average temperatures to much below average, especially right here. Uh, and let's skip ahead a few more hours to... This is uh, Thursday afternoon. You can see this air is getting in Arkansas now. And just look at this uh, huge block of below average temperatures. Now even it's even getting in the main. And so that's bringing some uh, heat relief for the main area in the northeast. And just, but look at this, this big block of, b of below average temperatures, even much above, below, below, or much below average by Wyoming, uh, Rapid City, the Black Hills. But uh Go a little bit later. So let's look at this. This is Friday. We can see this air is in Louisiana now. Uh, these are these like it down here in the southeast. Those are thunderstorms making the uh, rain cool air happen. But Maine and Vermont are kind of average, but um, they're kind of they're sort of about about average. We can see though there is still some slightly above average. Uh, so let's just say that's what it is. But Oregon and uh, Washington are. Uh, below average, is still, but we can see this big uh, plume of air still making its way. Uh, and Saturday afternoon, it still continues Sunday, and then so on. We still have this uh, pattern happening, and then the pattern the pattern seems to uh, change a little bit. Probably by this is a long this, this pattern in Illinois is gonna like by the Illinois area. This cold air is not gonna or it's not cold air, but uh, the low average is gonna stay there for quite a while with some. Uh, and of course, there's going to be some systems some days that will be above average, but uh, you can see out there. Well, it's going to likely stay for a little bit, but uh, let's go check the, uh, for the next three days, we're going to check, check out what the high temperatures will likely be uh, for the next few days. You can see, let's go till this afternoon. At uh, So this, this is what the high temperatures will be before like the monsoons happen and stuff. You can see Iowa, 69 right there, northern Iowa. Uh, Wisconsin, 68 by Green Bay. 75 in northern Michigan, but look at the temperatures in the northeast. 91 right there, and I think I'm pretty sure that's Portland. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, and then we have 95 right there. That's New York City. And then the, this heat just continues all the way up through uh, 95 right there in the, by uh, 95 on the border of uh, Colorado and Kansas down through Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. The whole state of Texas will likely be 85 plus. Um, but you can see some of the temperatures out in the, the western states. You can see, like, with the, these are little monsoons in the mountains, but uh, pretty hot still, but it seems to be cooling down a little bit. Let's move on to a Wednesday afternoon now. You can see uh, we're going we're gonna to have... Wait, okay, that's just how I need to go. You can see the, the heat makes it all the way up into Montana. I mean, 88 degrees right there. Um... 92 in Maine again, but uh, you can see down by Columbus, Georgia, 94, 104 right there in Oklahoma, to, according to the GFS model. And the whole state of Texas is going to like probably could be 90 plus other than this uh, the little area over here in Texas. But uh, Florida, 97 in Orlando. Uh, and we can see we still have this below average air, yeah, below average air mass over here uh, behind that cold front bringing the Whatever, if I can just draw a pretty bad graphic. Uh, 
to get rid of that. Let's go a little bit later. So let's go see the highs for Thursday. You can see, look at this in Oklahoma, 107 right there in Oklahoma. Um, and you can see it's still 70 in Iowa. Now that, that's nice. Wyoming, 69 center of central Wyoming. Probably about 60, or not 60, 70 in Cheyenne. Uh, 70 in Casper, too. You can just see, like, the, the, this, these areas are starting to cool off now. I mean, uh, we can see Texas still is hot, and so is uh, the southeastern states. Uh, but now let's take a look at the precipitation forecast. Um, let's find that. Oh, okay, that's where I've been looking in the right area. But uh, also the, um, what was I going to say? The, uh, I'm going to start having like a monthly forecast coming out in fall forecast, like seasonal forecast. I made an August one, but I'm just not going to post it because it looks bad. But, uh, okay, so let's do our precipitation forecast and it's going to want me to take a sounding. But, uh, so it's right now we have, um, oh, we have our cold front right here. You can see like the precipitation. You can see our low pressure system is right there. Cold front stretching down like that. Uh, let's skip ahead a few hours. Uh, this is Wednesday afternoon here, and you can see pretty much the whole uh, eastern half of the country could, country could be seeing some uh, showers by Louisiana, Mississippi also, Florida, afternoon without showers. But then we have our monsoons out here in Arizona, Utah, and Colorado and Nevada. You can see that's uh, the monsoons. Let's skip ahead a few hours. There could also be some uh, storms trying to get together in uh, the Missouri area. With this uh, low pressure system, but um, so let's go to Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon, you can see there's going to be a lot of afternoon showers and thunderstorms in this area that I just circled down to the Georgia, the Great Lake regions, and then we're going to have a system coming up through this area, which is going to be bringing some uh, showers and maybe some thunderstorms. Now these will likely be thunderstorms. If I mean, some of them will be showers, some of them will be thunderstorms. If this is monsoons over here still. Uh, we also have some rain in store for maybe the Washington area in British Columbia. Uh, let's skip ahead. We'll skip ahead till Saturday now. Saturday we can still see monsoons are going on in this area, and then we have afternoon thunderstorms over here, and we have a low pressure system that could be bringing a uh, cold front down. It likely will. Um, so this is Tuesday now. You can see the southeast is going to be having the afternoon showers and thunderstorms, and monsoons are still happening over here and then we have a uh, maybe just some uh, thunderstorms out in wisconsin uh, iowa and through missouri but that's gonna wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you would like to see more weather content like this and uh yes peace out